This is Family Guy, an animated sitcom by Seth MacFarlane that premiered in 1999 and is in the same vein as The Simpsons. But unlike The Simpsons, Family Guy is a lot edgier with the content in their show, and I want to talk about a lot of this today. Now, before we get into this, I already know a lot of you will be saying that plenty of other YouTubers have made this kind of video before of the day Family Guy died or how Family Guy went downhill, and I understand that. But this is my take on what I think happened to Family Guy, and it actually starts a lot sooner than a lot of you may think. But this is what the video is all about. So what happened to Family Guy, and what caused it to be so hated? So, like we've discussed, Family Guy is an adult cartoon about the Griffins, a dysfunctional family living in Quahog, Rhode Island. And in the episodes, the family gets into trouble and normally have to get themselves out. With the show first premiering in 1999 and eventually being cancelled after only two seasons, the show was ran on Adult Swim and eventually was so popular that Fox brought the show back for a third season, and it still goes on to this day. As of this video, Family Guy is in its 19th season, which is surprising. I have no doubt that you've seen the amount of hate he gets online and from other shows. You think that's bad? Remember the time I sang La Cucaracha for Paul McCartney? Yep! Yuck! Cucaracha! We are not resorting to that! This show is mainly hated because of the fact that most of its humor is a cutaway gag. What is a cutaway gag, you ask? Well, according to the Family Guy wiki itself, a cutaway gag is a comic element found in some comedy television shows. The sequence generally opens up with the character saying a completely random line, then the scene immediately cuts to the action. The scene usually lasts a few seconds before returning to the main plotline. These scenes generally don't have anything to do with the story. The show is full of them, and it's kind of hard not to cringe at most of them. I think it is easy to say that Family Guy's humor is a stupid joke going on for way longer than it should. And to even say that it is humor is very hard. It is clear that Family Guy's writers were slowly running out of ideas and did run out of them a long time ago. I can say it is just like The Simpsons in the fact that it's gone on way longer than it ever should have, and by now needs to be put out of its misery. I personally think it's time to say goodbye to Quahog and the Griffin family, but let's get back on track. People want to say the cutaway gags are what killed the show or the episode Brian's death where the writers killed off Brian just to bring him back two episodes later. A big issue of the show is a moment like Brian's death could have worked, but instead it was filled with stupid jokes and of course they brought Brian back just two episodes later. It could have been an entire area though for character development, but instead the entire episode is just another throwaway gag. Family Guy does not know when to take a step back from the jokes and let the emotional moments do the talking. Family Guy doesn't know when to stop talking and let the world tell a story. I personally believe Family Guy would have been better if they left Brian dead, because it would have forced the creators to try and make the characters cope with this and have to be emotionally driven to get over the grief. It could have made Peter realize he loves his family and he'd actually try to be better. It could have done so much, but it was swept under the rug because they brought Brian back. It is a fact that as the seasons went on, the Family Guy's ratings went down, and obviously it's because two main reasons, writing quality goes down and cutaways go up. But there is another reason, at least to me. The characters became one note characters. Now what does this mean? Well, take Patrick from Spongebob for example. While he was an idiot in the show, he was also a bit of a straight man to Spongebob. Patrick did his best to make Spongebob happy, and he even had a lot of smart moments, only for him to devolve to nothing but an idiot. They did the same with Peter Griffin. While he was once a father who cared for his family, wasn't that smart, and could be a jerk to his family sometimes, he became nothing but a jerk to his family. Brian, who was the straight man to Peter, became nothing but a drunk atheist. Meg became nothing more than a punching bag, and so on and so forth. But Stewie actually did the opposite and evolved. He went from an evil baby who wanted to kill his mom to a smart baby who cares about his family and, most importantly, Brian. Family Guy is at its best where you can tell character growth and more is going on. It is at its absolute worst when they fill the full time of the episode up with nothing but pointless gags that don't move the story. 
I understand that with an episodic comedy, that continuity isn't always needed. But when the episode is based on something emotional to the character, and they change their ways for only that episode and none of the others, what you're telling me is that this entire episode means nothing, and I should have no reason to watch it. Why? Because nothing changes. The character doesn't change, their lives don't change, nothing. Like how many times has Peter almost lost Lois because of how neglectful of her he is, and by the end everything is fine because he learned to love his wife, and then he just does it again in the next episode. What you're telling me is that this episode is completely useless, because the next one is going to be the exact same song and dance every time. But the writers keep doing it because they have run out of ideas, and these characters are nothing but one note characters now. So what happened to Family Guy? Well. They became one note characters, and nothing more. But what would people think of Family Guy if it ended sooner? Would it be more liked, or would it still be hated? Would Seth MacFarlane still care about the show? Just something you'll have 